we quickly learn that the jungle's pretty unforgiving. We're pararized came in with the 38th Rescue Squadron and we're currently in Oahu, Hawaii, doing some jungle warfare training and tracking. PJs are the ground component to the Special Operations Force in the United States Air Force. And we conduct a very unique mission set, you know, personnel recovery, combat search and rescue. We can do that organically. Uh, we're not tied to one specific airframe. We can work in our service. The big thing is just getting us to that point and then we can kind of figure out the problem after that. At every level, at national defense strategy all the way down to the wing and group priorities, has been Indo-PACOM. With that, you're talking about long distances over water, very, very austere areas separated by thousands of miles. I think over the last 20 years, we've gotten really good at desert warfare. With the war in Afghanistan and Iraq, we're really having to take a step back from some of the older TTPs that seem to work well in the desert and figure out how to adapt to this environment, which is you know, way more difficult to operate in. The jungle is a very unforgiving environment. There are areas of the jungle that you can only travel 100 meters in an entire day. And so with them traveling that amount of distance, they're just gonna get used to that environment. We're working with a contractor to, to show us all the skills we need to know to not only survive in the, in the environment, but also operate. Uh, arid environments where there's good track traps. It takes you years to get to the level of proficiency to track somebody, especially in the jungle. This only makes us more capable. It's critical, and honestly, this is probably the closest that we can get to an actual jungle being here in Hawaii. It mimics the climate, the foliage that we're gonna probably experience if we find ourselves out there. And this forces us to evolve our tactics to a point where we can get even better at tracking people, looking for that pilot that's lost. Don't be afraid to pick it up and look how this is crushed here. We can make mistakes in training, but when you're out there for real and you're running operations, you wanna already kind of have those plans in place so that you know how to effectively and efficiently reach somebody and complete your mission. Special Warfare Airmen have a unique capability that we can add to agile combat employment that nobody else has. It's a specialized group of individuals that can rescue people from austere areas, combined with TACPs who can create command and control nodes anywhere in the world, and when you combine those two, you have the ability to rescue people closer to the forward line of troops, uh, communicate over long distances, and then we present those options to the Combined Force Air Component Commander, or to, the, to the Lead Wing Commander, and he has options on how to recover his airmen effectively. So pilots and air crew should rest easy knowing that we can rescue them from any environment to include jungle. So, I mean, hopefully this doesn't happen, but you do this training because when it does inevitably happen, you're ready for it.